The next portion of this foreign exchange market is the transactions in interbank markets which uh, consists of purchase and sale transactions and then we have the type of transactions which speaks about the interbank transactions in the market that is spot transaction, forward transactions, swap transactions, non-deliverable forwards. So all these transactions that is being uh, used in interbank markets will be discussed in this topic. Under transactions in interbank markets, the first transaction is purchase and sale transactions. So foreign exchange market, it's a market where currencies are traded. So any trading, it has two aspects that is purchase and sale. So a trader, he has to purchase goods from the suppliers which he sells to his customers. But the peculiarity of this foreign exchange market is that he, the same person, he can be the buyer as well as the seller in the commodity, that is a foreign currency. So, in the deal that is between one bank and another bank, it is essential to understand the implication of the word purchase and sale. That is very, very important. So, what is purchase? It will be sale for the counterparty. We all know. That is, that is the... Uh, basic uh, ethics so similarly what is currency for one party it will be commodity for the other party okay so the standard practice in the market is to interpret the transaction uh, from the perspective of the market maker okay market maker is nothing but quoting bank those banks which are quoting this exchange rates so it is a standard practice that has been followed in the market to interpret the transaction from this market maker's perspective. Then only it won't be confusing. So there are two points that need to be constantly kept in mind while talking of this foreign exchange transaction. So first one is the transaction should always talk from the quoting bank's point of view. And then the item here referred to as the foreign currency. So if you say purchase, it means the quoting bank has purchased and it has purchased foreign currency. When we say sale, it means the quoting bank, that is the market maker, has sold and it has sold foreign currency. So this is how this implications, how we are, uh, how we are uh, explaining or how we are interpreting the transactions is very, very important. When we interpret this transaction, it should always be from the perspective of market maker. So in a purchase transaction, the quoting bank, it acquires, what it does, it acquires, there is a purchasing bank, this quoting bank acquires foreign currency and parts with home currency, that is it is selling the home currency. And in case of sale transaction, the quoting bank is selling foreign currency and it is acquiring the home currency. types of transactions that takes place in interbank market so first one is spot transaction next one forward transaction then swap transactions and non-deliverable forwards so in the later slides we'll be looking into each thing briefly so spot transaction so it's a transaction where exchange of currencies it takes place two days after the day of the contract that is called a spot transaction so here for example if you take if the contract is made on monday the delivery of the currency it will take place on wednesday so if that wednesday it happens to be a holiday in that case delivery will take place on the next day that is thursday so that is how this transaction takes place spot transactions these are immediate immediate transactions so here value date is nothing but the date on which the currencies are exchanged that is that date is called as value date and here in case of the spot transactions no special qualifications are required if suppose two counterparties they are ready to enter into a transaction they can enter into a transaction on the same day that is in the interbank okay on the same day they uh, enter into this contract that is spot transaction so here in case of uh, spot transaction early settlement is required 
since funds may be required urgently by these banks they require early settlement okay so uh, either special quotations will be made for delivery either the same day or the next day otherwise as we saw the exchange of currencies takes place two days after the contract so suppose monday was the contract date and when i say we will settle the transactions not beyond that that is spot transaction so this uh, uh, cash or ready transaction is nothing but when the when the agreement is entered into to buy and sell in that case this um, to buy when this agreement to buy and sell is agreed upon and it will be executed on the same day so such transactions is known as cash or ready transactions it is also called as value today if suppose they enter into a transaction in which the currencies are exchanged the next day in that case it is known as value tomorrow or tom transactions so this is how spot transactions works transaction here is forward transactions so in this case exchange of currencies takes place at a specified future date that is uh, after the spot date that is subsequent to the spot date that is called as forward transactions it is otherwise called as outright forward transactions so in this forward transaction the delivery it takes place on uh, uh, one month for delivery one month two month or three months it's nothing but a forward contract for delivery one month means exchange of currencies takes place after one month forward contract for delivery two months this exchange of currencies takes place after two months and so on so that how it works so here in this case is forward contract date it always uh, calculated after the spot date okay the date for this call this forward contract will be calculated from the spot date so for example one month forward contract entered into that is on 22nd march a person has entered into one month forward contract so he will be delivering the foreign currencies after one month so that is it falls due on 24th april so if suppose that the 24th april it happens to be a holiday the contract will be due on the next working day and there is also an exception to this rule if suppose if that the uh, next day it happens to be the first day of the next month in that case the due date is not um, is advanced to the preceding date and not the succeeding date okay so here one month forward contract is entered into on 22nd march which falls due on 24th april if suppose 24th april happens to be a holiday the person can settle it on the next working day if suppose that next working day happens to be the first day of the next month in that case he has to settle it uh, pre, uh, beforehand not after after first of that month so this is again one exception to this rule so this is how forward transaction takes place next transaction is swap transactions in this case it's a deal between same counterparties in same currency and for same value but they are purchased and sold for different maturities the maturity date alone differs other than that it is between same counterparties same currency and same value so for example if suppose deena bank and idbi bank they enter they enter into a deal so uh, deena bank it buys us dollars 5 million spot at the current date it is purchasing us dollars 5 million and it sells it forward for 2 months that is nothing but it is selling it that amount but he can settle it after 2 months so this is how swap transactions happen so the difference between these um, spot price and forward price is equal to forward margin this forward margin is also called as swap points not only it can swap between a spot and forward it can swap even between two forwards for example uh, any bank it is purchasing 3 uh, months forward and it is selling it as 6 months forward that is also a swap transaction one is non deliverable forwards this is an instrument which was developed in 1990s and under this non deliverable forwards the actual delivery of forward contract does not take place 
so it is not like usual forward transaction in this case what happens on the due date the difference between the spot rate for that currency concerned and the forward rate that was agreed upon so the difference that will be settled so from the name itself it tells us it's a non deliverable forwards and it is not like usual forward transactions in and in that case where exchange of currencies takes place at a specified future date here the settlement how it happens on the due date the spot price for the currency and the forward rate agreed upon the difference between the two will be settled so mostly these transactions it will be used for emerging currencies those who do not uh, uh, have ready market in that case non deliverable forwards will be used and mostly the settlement it will be done in weightable in us dollars that's that's how non deliverable forwards works